Okay, so what do you think we need to do in order to find the length of x? Well, that is the topic for this particular video, but uh, let's take a look at what's going on here. So we have this big triangle, and inside of the big triangle we have a smaller triangle, and the base of this smaller triangle is the length that we're looking for. Of course, that is length x. But uh, let's take a look at the rest of the information that we have. So from here to here is 6, and from here to here is 6 as well, and the base of this larger triangle is 10. Now we do have enough information to solve this problem, but we also have a multiple choice uh, question here, and let's take a look at our answer. So A is 3, uh, B is 4.5, C is 5, and D is 7. Now feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then of course I wanna walk through step by step exactly how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoyed this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, here is our figure, and we're trying to determine the length of x. So what is the right answer? Well, the correct answer is C, which is five. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence because you appear to be a certified professional expert in the area of similar right triangles. Okay, now that's the real uh, topic of this uh, video is how to solve a similar right triangle problem. But uh, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't even know what you're talking about, uh, similar right triangles. I just took a guess here. Maybe you were saying, well, if this is 10, maybe this is like half of 10, which of course would be five. So if you guess this right, that is fantastic. Never ever leave a math question blank. All right, always take a guess. And here, of course, you would have one out of four chance and five is a logical guess. And in this case, it is correct. But what if we didn't have a multiple choice question? Well, uh, we would just simply have to obviously know the math. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. And the topic is similar right triangles. Okay, so what is a similar right triangle? Well, first of all, what is a similar figure? Well, similarity is a pretty easy concept. I don't like to kind of describe it as uh, kind of a zoom in or zoom out version. So let's take this little triangle right here. If I took this triangle, matter of fact, let me just grab it and make a copy of it. We'll do this in real time. So, whoops, let me do, put this triangle right here. All right, so these two triangles are exactly the same size and shape, okay? This in geometry is called congruent. All right, so these two triangles would be congruent figures or congruent triangles. But if I take this triangle and I make it like a larger version of it, okay, I'm not changing the uh, shape of it, I'm just changing the size, these two triangles are similar. Now, if we notice here, the angles are the same. The angles didn't uh, change, the only thing that changed was the size, all right? And that is similarity. And what we have here is this smaller triangle is actually a smaller version of this bigger triangle, okay? So these two triangles are in fact similar right triangles, okay? Now, uh, they are right, and that is an important uh, aspect of this problem because this right here is a right triangle or 90 degree uh, angle, and so is this right here. Now, this is important because we need to establish or kind of prove um, or verify that in fact, we have similar right triangles. And in order to do that, we need to know uh, a couple things about similar right triangles. Specifically, we need to know various theorems. Okay, so now that you know what a similar right triangle is, there's different ways we can prove that two triangles are in fact similar. Okay, and one of those ways is something called the angle angle theorem. There are other theorems, but in this particular case, we can uh, establish that these two triangles are in fact. Uh, kind of a, a smaller and larger version of itself by using something called the angle-angle theorem. So in geometry, you just can't 
go by your you know eye and say, well, they look to be similar. Well, you need to kind of verify it. So let's talk about this angle-angle theorem here. So the angle-angle theorem basically states is that if you have two triangles and two of the angles uh, of those triangles are the same, well, then these two triangles are um, similar. So let's go, in, uh, go ahead and establish that right now. So let's focus in on this smaller triangle. And in the smaller triangle, what do we have? Well, we have this 90 degree angle right there. Now, if we look at the bigger triangle, uh, it also has a 90 degree right angle. So we have one angle, we need two angles. So we need an angle, angle, uh, two angles of a triangle have to be the same because by default, the third angle is gonna be the same as well. All right, so these, are, um, these two angles are the same, but we need another angle. Okay, so that other angle is this angle right here. Okay, so if we see this angle, which is the top angle for this uh, smaller triangle, well, it's also the same angle of the larger triangle. Okay, so that is our second angle. So these two angles are the same. All right, so this angle is the same as the smaller uh, triangle and the larger triangle. And then of course we have our two 90 degree right angles. So we have angle, angle. In other words, that this uh, angle and this angle must be the same because the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. But again, we need a um, an actual theorem or postulate, something to actually establish that in, in fact, we do have two similar right triangles here. And of course, we're gonna be using the angle-angle uh, theorem to establish that. Now, what do we know about similar figures? Well, the whole idea behind um, you know establishing uh, two triangles as being similar is that we can use this fact, and that is the um, sizes or the lengths of similar, the respective uh, lengths or sides of two similar right, uh, or two similar triangles. They don't have to be right triangles. They are in proportion, okay? So that is going to be the key in order, uh, in order for us to solve this problem. All right, so let's go ahead and take the next step. And again, we're talking about similarity, similarity and the not uh, notation. Uh, for similarity in geometry is this little squiggly line right there. So if I have, um, let's just go ahead and put some uh, letters on this, A, B, C, and we'll call this uh, E, F, G. So we can say that triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle E, F, G. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that these angles are the same, all right? So the angles are the same. If we're establishing similarity, that we're um, indicating that the angles are the same and the sides are in proportion, okay? And that is really gonna be the critical piece in order to solve this problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. So here is our triangle. So I need you to kind of think of this smaller triangle as um, the same thing as this larger triangle. In other words, this is the base X of the smaller triangle and the base of the um, uh, bigger triangle is 10. Okay, so uh, we kind of want to break this out in an easier way to kind of uh, look at this, and let's go to do that right now. So here is our figure. So let's kind of separate out this little small triangle over here and the larger triangle over here so we can be really clear about what's going on. All right, so here's the small triangle. Okay, so its side is 6 and its base is 10. Now we don't have the hypotenuse over here, but what we have to do is look at this larger triangle and what is its side? Well, the side right here is six, its base is 10 for the small triangle, but the side, this side of the triangle for the larger triangle is gonna be six plus six or 12, okay? So we need to establish that. So here is this side, this of course is 12, and the base is 10, and the base of the small triangle is X, and its side right here is six. So these sides right here are in proportion. Okay, so what we need to do is set up a proportion and we can easily solve for X. All right, so let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, I definitely need your help in order to continue to grow my YouTube channel. Now, why would I wanna do such a thing? Well, I wanna reach as many people as I possibly can because I love teaching mathematics, but uh, I really love helping people you know, not give up on learning math, okay? But I can't do it alone. And the best way for you to support me on YouTube is to hit, uh, simply hit that subscribe button. And if you're gonna do that, hit that notification bell as well. Now, um, uh, in the link 
uh, or the, in the description, you're going to find various links to my full main math courses. But one of my most popular courses that I built, oh, maybe um, about six months ago, or uh, me, uh, six months a year ago, something like that, is a course called uh, uh, Math Skills Rebuilder. Okay, I've had a lot of requests for people that uh, you know just kind of want to relearn math. Maybe they've been away from math for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Well, this course has been doing really, really well. So for those of you that might be uh, interested and in wanting to relearn mathematics, my Math Skill Rebuilder course, I start off in basic math, uh, basic arithmetic, because a lot of people, uh, yeah, they sometimes don't give uh, due respect uh, to basic math. But I can tell you right now, if you haven't been doing uh, basic mathematics for a while and you want to get back into math, that's where you need to start. So this is where I start my course. But after we do a good arithmetic review, we get into a ton of uh, algebra, geometry, even some basic trigonometry and some basic probability and statistics. So if you want to relearn math, this is the course for you. But uh, let's go and get uh, back to the rest of this problem. And the rest of this problem, uh, the skills that we need are going to be some basic algebra skills. So when you learn geometry, you got to know um, a bit of algebra as well. That's why you typically take algebra before you study geometry. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this thing up. So now that we know that we have uh, similar right triangles, right, we established that using the angle-angle theorem, we know that the sides are in, in uh, the sides here are in proportion. So what does that mean? Well, effectively, we can just compare uh, the sides of uh, these two triangles, and the proportion is going to be the same. So if I take this side six and I divide it by the base x, that's six over x. That is going to be the same as okay. It's going to be equivalent to or in proportion to if we take the side of this triangle, which is twelve, and divide it by its base ten. That is what a proportion is. And uh, in algebra, a proportion, or in mathematics, is two equal fractions. So we have 6 over x is equal to 12 over 10. Now, if I just had some fraction like 1 half and I have another fraction that's equal to 1 uh, half, something like, let's say, 3 over 6, well, how can we um, solve a proportion? Well, we have to use this property, and that is called the cross product. Now, 6 times 1 is what? That's 6. And what is 2 times 3? That is 6 as well. So when you have a proportion or two equal fractions, the cross product is equal. And we can use that fact in order to solve for x. So what we're going to do is simply use the cross product or cross multiply. Okay, so this is where our basic algebra comes in, but uh, this is not going to be that difficult. So let's go x times 12, which is what? That's 12x, and then 6 times 10, uh, that is, of course, going to be 60. And to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 12. So 60 divided by 12, of course, is 5. And that is what the base of the smaller triangle is equal to. All right, so again, we talked about uh, the difference between similar right triangles and uh, congruency, okay, or congruent right triangles, or uh, really, yeah, I, I, uh, the concept of similarity and congruency go beyond just triangles, okay? But when you are studying similar right triangles, we have to keep in mind that we have to establish the fact that uh, triangles are indeed similar, and that's where, gonna need, that's where you're going to need to uh, understand some of these theorems, like the angle-angle theorem, and there are other ones as well. So if you are studying geometry, yes, indeed, you're going to have to know a ton of theorems and postulates. All right, so hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.